I bet we could turn a minigun into something absolutely ridiculous. Plus it just looks really good. Initial DPS, touching 300. It's definitely up to the task of killing basic idiots, but these guys really are as simple as it gets. We can find better. A damaged chest is a very good start. Shots deal more damage, spread is heavily increased. And that does actually increase damage by 50%, which is huge. So if we could just continually find those, our damage will go up exponentially. And I know it said the spread was increased, but uh, it's such a tight firing gun anyways, it's pretty much a sniper rifle at any range. I do often forget that I can zoom in a little bit to an aim better, I just don't have to because they do so much damage anyway. So after murdering them, we have an upgrade chest. And they're both the same thing, an upgrade to blind fire. <laughs> so our damage is already increased by 100. Which brings us to a challenge island. All we gotta do is live though, uh, when enemies die they spawn spikes and that's okay because I kill them from far away because I have a sniper minigun. Uh, we also have flying skulls in this level, so they are going to be a little bit harder to take out. And that gets us two damage chests. Windup sounds fun. Shot do more damage for each shot fired until reloading. Well, these fire a lot before they have to reload. I don't know if I want to lose accuracy, so we're going to take Sonic Boom. Reloading damages and knocks back nearby idiots. And I get an extra uh, damage chest if I do this without taking damage. Which may or may not happen. I guess I am feeling pretty confident right now. I don't know how much damage you're doing, I gotta remember not to reload frequently because I'm gonna get extra damage out of that deal. Decided to just run back this way, hopefully where nothing can reach me, that way we're done and we get an extra chest. I've really got nothing but damage chests, one of them was an upgrade but that is upgraded damage. Shots are larger and deal more damage but move more slowly, and also a chance to fire high damage bullets along with your regular shots. But we can definitely check on our DPS, it's uh, almost 2000 now. The first thing I'm going to buy, shop prices are discounted. That doesn't apply immediately apparently, but then I'm actually going to get the silver heart because I need the 100 extra HP really badly. And then it's right back to work killing these morons. I think those ones explode when I hit them. The bullet spread is getting to be a little bit much. Eh, uh, it's nothing we haven't dealt with before. We just fire so many bullets, it doesn't matter where we're aiming, we'll hit something eventually. And damage is high enough, we don't really need to land with these bullets. A lot of bullets on them to kill them. Chance to fire high damage bullets along with your regular. So now we have a 6% chance to fire bullets dealing 800 damage. And also shots do more damage for each bullet remaining in the clip. So my first shots do extra damage and my last shots do extra damage. We would basically just do a lot of damage all the way through. This island is going to give us some elemental at the end. It is a challenge island so all we need to do is murder everyone. That guy I think was armored. I'm not really sure what his deal was but he's dead now. Those guys are going to blow up. The crabs are all going to blow up. This minigun's fun. Uh, we do have a skull boy in this one. I definitely saw when the high uh, damage bullet landed on him because it melted them. This might be my strongest build so far and that's saying something. Okay shots are gonna burn enemies and shots are gonna shock enemies. There's a 3% chance of those activating but between that and the like super damage bullets as long as we're firing away we're gonna be doing good and considering how many bullets we fire those are actually gonna go off a lot. Well I've got four seconds left I suspect we're going to survive. Was I supposed to get two chests for this? Shots deal more damage but fire rate is reduced. I don't actually know if I want that. Fire rate's kind of everything to me, so I think we're just going to salvage all of these. I just need that rapid fire going to have those uh, chance of hit to proc a lot. Get a random pickup but lose 33% of your health. Yeah, that's fine. Shot shock enemies. Okay, I can get my health back right here. So let's try the updated DPS check. We're well over through over 4,000 already. This is going to be a good one. I'm going to take shots to do more damage for each shot until reloading. Damage increased to burning enemies because we're going to light a lot of that on fire. Chance to fire high damage bullets with your shot. These don't feel so cheap. Shots deal additional flat damage. Okay. Uh, higher rarity loot has a greater chance to spawn from chests. Yes. And more crystals drop when eliminating enemies. Oh, we just shy of enough for that. So instead we'll take extra damage to burning enemies, which might include him. So let's see if our DPS went up at all. Yes, it most certainly did. I'm seeing 7,000, 8,000. 9,000? What happened? I just love how absurd this game gets. It goes from zero to a million, like in an instant. Just like that. Like, this is the boss and he's already dead. Because our shots started doing more and more and more damage. Uh, healing chest, bronze armor plate. Now it would be cool if instead of an epic, we got a legendary. But we'll settle for an epic. And I'm going to get a second lever, uh, level of streamer loot. Higher rarity loot has a 300% greater chance to spawn from chests. Which brings us to Iceland. It's funny because like I don't know if we've gotten any chests that aren't damaged chests so far so it's absolutely ridiculous already. Shots are larger and deal more damage but move more slowly. They feel pretty quick to me. Defeat all the enemies? Yeah, I think I could probably go ahead and take care of that for you. This level does have some of the annoying ones that shoot me from a far away place. Like these guys, <laughs> luckily they melt pretty quickly. I don't think they're supposed to but everything melts quickly to me. So about that higher rarity loot we're supposed to have. 
Uh, we're gonna take uh, shots are larger, but they move more slowly. This is another challenge arena. Enemies are gonna spawn spikes when they die. And I don't really know what more to say about that. That's they, like, they'll die way over there. The spikes I couldn't care less about. Uh, there are these big guys that are gonna show up once in a while. He was actually reasonably tough, but not tough enough for a crab wielding a minigun. Now we're starting to see that luck. There's some more epics. Chance to get an additional reward chest when flawlessly clearing an island, yes. We're gonna go ahead and get two of those. If we get more chests with higher luck, I think we'll be onto something pretty fun. This one's simply survival. I have 40 seconds to survive whatever's gonna come toward me. Which so far is very, very little, but I think they'll start making their way in now. Okay, so far I've shot like six crabs. Are you guys, is that really all you got? Do you wanna try harder? I guess I can't be too hard on the idiots. I am on easy mode, so maybe I'm the idiot after all. Uh, the agreement was if I did this flawlessly that I would get an extra whatever. Maybe I didn't. It's fine. Poison and damage nearby enemies every few seconds. Nah, let's say damage increase to shocked enemies. I am doing a lot of lightning damage anyway, so that's really just going to help us. Fire mace balls along with your shots. Did that drop from the thing I broke? I didn't know that could happen. Great. Uh, so on that note, how's my DPS looking? Okay, there was an easy 9,000, that was 12 or 13,000. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, it's getting up there. Fire mace balls along with your shots, that's very expensive, both of these are. Shots pierce through enemies, yes, and fire mace balls. That's obviously really important because now we're up to about, there was 20 something thousand DPS already. This arena I do need to be careful in because the chest at the end is going to take a lot of my health when I open it, so I just need to be sure to have some health left over at the end. These doubles are a little bit trickier because these guys just kind of drop in from anywhere at all. So they can drop right in top of you and you'll never know it. Well, we got the flying skulls. They're back. And I turned them into mush. Got flawless. Oh, but it's two spiked chests. This was kind of dumb. So which one do we think is luckier? This one? <laughs> Here's a good one. Juiced. Increased damage, fire rate, and reload speed. Do I want to sacrifice 100? That's really dangerous right now. Ah, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. We'll be fine. Damage is increased by 10%. Uh... No ammo is used for a short time after eliminating an enemy. That could be interesting also. Okay, this is a really, really annoying level to have uh, low health on to begin with, so we'll have to be a little bit careful. Luckily, careful is my middle name. I'm an absolute strategist at these kind of things. Basically, I'd assume my uh, high amounts of damage are going to carry me through this without much issue at all. Though we do have some of these guys that are a little bit stronger and uh, firing balls at me don't fall off the edge. I think we're going to be okay. How about this one? Just straight up shots deal more damage. No frills. Uh, this level is going to end with a health upgrade. Uh, two of them if I can do this flawlessly. I don't know if I can because they're dropping on my head. But if they slowly walk toward me down these avenues, then this won't be bad. Oh, never mind. We got hit. Because they dropped from up top. I also forgot my shots pierced, so if I can't get all the idiots to line up, uh, that's really bad news for them. <laughs> this is really just a crab genocide simulator at this point. Definitely wasn't flawless, but I'll take a health upgrade. Increase max health by 100. Heal while dealing damage is also really good, but for now I just need the raw health. Okay, we get some really good wins here. Chance for shots to split into smaller shots while in the air. There's an 8% chance for that to happen, so that's going to happen a lot while we're firing. Damage increase after clearing each island. Yes, that's just going to continually be good for me. DPS check. I think before we got into the 20-something thousands, and there it was again. I saw 24,000 there. Once he lights on fire, he takes more damage, but yeah, I think I guess at 24, maybe 26,000. Oh, and that's gonna work out well, because we're against a giant flaming skull anyway. I know you're kind, yeah, now that he's on fire, look at his health just go. Oh, we had to reload once. That's a shame. Well, we got more health and healing, so that makes me feel a little better. That's a legendary. Shots create an ice storm that deals damage over- yes. And that brings us into the volcano area. Oh, that's cool. So every time we shoot, there's going to be ice tornadoes everywhere. And I happen to shoot a lot of bullets, so I think this is going to work out really fantastically. And because I did that flawlessly, I got an extra chest. I just wanted to come out here and admire the lava pool. Shots deal additional flat damage. And shots deal more damage for each bullet remaining in the clip. There's a lot of bullets in the clip, so that works out well. Which brings us to another arena, and I like this one because it's a very narrow arena. My shots will pierce, and I'll also create ice storms along the way that are going to uh, stop things along the way. So far, the enemies are not able to get anywhere even close to me because I can just do this. Is, is that healing? No, that's poison. I think that's poison. That's definitely poison. This is going to take 150 of my HP, but give me an epic upgrade. Fire rate increased? Yes, please. So this will be a skill chest. I'm not sure what that means. But it was gold in color, and I'm that simple-minded that I assume that's good. I haven't really been uh, paying attention to the damage readout numbers, but now that I look at them, they're definitely all into the hundreds. I'm pretty sure we started at like literally six. And suddenly I'm just the loneliest crab in the world. Oh, there is someone left. Got him. 
So the skill chest, extra use of grenade, melee range increase, spread and recoil are heavily reduced. Okay. I don't know if this necessarily has a lot of recoil. It's got a little bit, but it's got so many bullets, it just doesn't matter anyway. Even if I recoil slightly, I am shooting at everything anyway. Oh, hello. This is definitely one of those annoying levels where everyone likes to get right into your face. Luckily, you can just keep going in big old circles. There's some giant skulls and stuff. What is happening? Why was I? Oh, you go into like slow motion when you zoom in fire. That's kind of cool. Oh, should probably destroy that guy. Pretty sure this is going to be a health chest and we need some of the help there. Increase max health by 100 and heal 66% so that gave us 500 HP. I am going to take another uh, silver heart just to give me a little more HP. Fire fireballs along with your shots. Yes. And enemies take damage when extinguishing fire and I also have a high chance to light things on fire and enemies take more damage while they're on fire. So those all synergize very well. Our DPS is uh, definitely going up. Fireballs. I love lighting things on fire. I love the fact that both of our legendary uh, pickups so far too are damage mods. Elemental, but they're about output. And that just seems to synergize really well with the minigun because any chance on hit to do anything is multiplied by like a million because we fire a million shots. I never noticed on this level you could actually get right on top of the island. There's seemingly nothing up here, but we got on top of the island. Oh, and because I did that flawlessly, I got more rewards. Max health increased. And max health increased, I guess, for now because I don't really know what to do there. Should probably get some armor plates at some point, but I really just haven't felt the need yet. But the enemies just really don't survive long enough for me to even understand what it is they do. There's definitely some big poisony ones on this level suddenly, though. Those are kind of a new thing, I think, because I don't remember these before. That's a lot of poisony goo. All right, I'm going to keep backing up. <laughs> the island is cleared, but it turned into a nuclear wasteland. Shots deal more damage for each shot fired until reloading. And I'm probably going to salvage these because I can do better at the store. I get an extra chest if I can do this flawlessly. This is a hard level to do flawlessly. Unless all the enemies come from outside. Then I might actually have a chance because all I got to do is fire to them right there and make a little barricade. But if they start to get in and uh, fire things at me, I'm definitely going to get hit by something. I think a bullet penetration is actually really, really strong in these cases. Because even when the crabs get in my face, I'm firing down the whole line of them. Five seconds left, I might actually do this. Which is uh, not what I expected, but I'll take it. Okay, it was flawless, and I got two extra chests uh, because of my perks. You left eliminating enemies, that's a big one. Max health increased after clearing each island, that's going to be an ongoing one. And we'll probably just get that one twice. I don't know if this one yet, shots freeze enemies. That's only going to be to my benefit, there's another legendary. Sliding shoots of fiery sparks that damages the knights nearby enemies. Yes. Let's, <laughs> that's kind of fun. And that actually does quite a bit of damage. It let him on fire from quite a ways away. So maybe we can just rain him with some sparks like that, light him on fire, and then he's on fire, he takes extra damage, so then our DPS is going to go way, way, way up. And it's time for a boss fight against a giant ant, so we're just going to rain down on him endlessly. Oh, we had to reload again already. Uh, he's not hitting us with any of his stuff because he's stupid. Uh, oh, we got to slide our sparks on him too. But yeah, I think he's going to die pretty quick. And we got two legendary chests out of this deal. That's a beautiful, beautiful sight. Since we already have all the fire perks, enemies ignite all nearby enemies when eliminated. And let's also create a poison storm. Same as the ice storm, but with poison. So that's going to be better, and they're all going to explode and chain reaction to each other now too. And even if the explosion doesn't kill them, they'll be on fire, or, and then they'll take massive damage from me. Damage increased to distant enemies. I don't know what constitutes distant, but when you're shooting enough bullets in enough directions, I think we'll probably get some distant shots at least here and there. Clip size increased, that actually adds a lot of damage because I have more damage for more uh, bullets being left in the clip and more damage for more bullets that I've used throughout the clip. Oh, hello, that didn't work out in my favor very well. Fire debuff stacks are increased, so does that mean the enemies can get more fire stack on them? Get a random pickup, lose 33% of your health. Yeah, that's fine. Silver armor it is because I get all my health back from these. Oh, and there's a random chest here for some reason. Chance to get an additional reward chest when flawlessly clearing an island. Yes, I've got a few of those now, so we have a high chance of getting extra chests. And that just spit out Grim Reaper. Heal after eliminating enemies, so we have two of those. Fire rate increased is a very good one for us. He's got tons of stacks on him already, but yeah, we're easily into the 60,000 I think I saw. Oh, there's a big mortar firing, guys. That's what's annoying me so bad. Wow, those guys are actually really tough. Okay, can you guys just stop for a sec so I can get some shots cleanly on you? If I can't shoot you, I can't kill you, and that annoys me. Shots deal more damage for each bullet remaining in the clip, and then we'll maybe go for damage. Uh, this island has another one of those weird black crystals, so I'm going to go ahead and blow that up, and we'll deal with the consequences of that basically instantly. That uh, fiery explosion, that legendary upgrade, seems really strong so far. 
Because every time I start wiping out things on an island, it just chain reactions and everything dies. Okay, so I got more fortitude from the spare chest. Shots deal more damage for each bullet remaining in the clip. This one might be hard to survive because I'm on an itty bitty little island with lots of explosive idiots that all hurt a lot when they hit me. But that also kind of works in my favor too because once I start killing them, they set off a chain reaction of fire. And those fire stacks definitely hurt them and make them take extra damage from me. But I survived it. Damage increased at burning enemies. Shops contain more goods for sale. We're going to have a sentry spawn at the start of every island. And we're going to do another DPS check. It all depends on what's actually hitting, but that's touching into, I think, 90,000. 50% to double max health, 50% to half. And we doubled our HP. Time for the boss fight. There's two of them, but the longer we fire at them, the more they get lit on fire and the more damage they take. They're dead. And time for number two, the elite poison grub, who can actually hit me now. But as long as you keep firing on him, we'll be just fine. I'm not worried at all. And he is dead. And another legendary, fire fireballs along with your shots. Each fireball deals 800 damage and applies 600 fire stacks. So yeah, those fireballs are just gonna <laughs> bounce out there and really make a mess of things. I just noticed on this level where my turret spawned and it's down there over the edge. So I'm sure it's trying its best, but probably not being super helpful. Get a red and legendary pickup at least 50% of your max health. Yeah, I just doubled it anyway. Grenades lose speed, but home towards enemies. I don't actually want that, strangely. So we just sacrifice a legendary. Ooh, there's a good one. Damage increased by 10% for every 1,000 crystals you have. I have 35,000 crystals. So I feel like that probably gave our DPS a little help. We're just going to give him some sparks. And yeah, the DPS is well over 100, I think almost 200,000. So I just wanted to spend a few crystals re-rolling, hoping for something like this. Shots still splash damage near by enemies. That costs 10,000 by itself, but that's just so good that I cannot, not, can't not get it. So can I just sit here then, since you guys all explode so uh, graciously? I'm just going to sit here and kill you all right here at the end. And then my uh, elementals are also going to drop right there too. And I have a turret somewhere here. Watch how ridiculous this is getting. The enemies are slowly coming from down there. All I have to do is fire a few bullets and look at all the chaos that happens. I fired like three bullets. And another legendary upgrade for me, Mortar Turret. Gain Mortar Turrets at the start of each island. I feel like I'm collecting an awful lot of legendaries. I've got seven currently. I hate that I just found this, but I have to buy it now. Gain armor plates at the start of each island. That adds so much toughness, it's almost stupid. So we'll see what these two idiots think about that. Uh, he's already about dead, and we're on to number two, who's already on fire, so he's already taking extra damage. He's dead. I um, just finished this level flawlessly, and I got three legendary upgrades. So extra splash damage to nearby enemies, uh, more ice storm, and enemy uh, enemies ignite nearby enemies when they die. Okay, let's do a DPS check. We've got $61,000 and all sorts of things going on at this point. Uh, yeah, DPS, I think is touching 500,000. So let's see what the final boss version two is. This is King Skull. There's only one of them. Uh, last time it was a giant ant. This time it's King Skull. There might be more of them. It's hard to say. Uh, either way, he's dead. We made that look easy and that's the final boss looped around one more time. So given that it's two in the morning now, we're going to celebrate victory. This is something I hadn't seen before. There's a giant golden crab and a giant golden crown. 